welcome to the farmhouse. Easter is this week, so we do not have lots of projects on the agenda, but I am gonna show you how we potted up our tomato plants. I'm gonna show you how I moved 135 daffodil bulbs, and Jamie and I started to make homemade vanilla extract. So we have those three things to show you this week. If you're new here, my name is Deanne. I am the creator of the blog and the YouTube channel, Hummingbird Acres. At Hummingbird Acres, we love to inspire you to grow your own homestead. We love our homestead and we're always learning new things and always trying new things. And we want to inspire you to do the same. So please follow along if for inspiration for your homestead and please like this video, leave us a comment. We love to hear from you guys and we would love to answer any of your questions. So let's see what we're up to this week. our weekend by potting up about 40 tomato plants. These are 20 beefsteak tomatoes and 20 cherry tomatoes. Now these are not tomatoes that we plan on keeping. We plan on selling these in our market stand. So I potted them all up to a little bit bigger containers. Um, I do have to say that I did not like the potting soil that we had. Uh, we have had really great luck with this potting soil in the past, but for some reason this bag had a lot of wood chips in it. So it was not the most ideal potting soil to pot up, but it's what we had on hand. So you can see that I potted them all up. They are really, really leggy. So I made sure that once we were done, they got a really big drink of water from the bottom, which encourages root growth. So to help with the whole legginess and I also planted them as deep as I could go because tomatoes will grow roots off of its stem if it's in soil. So I did that as well and later on in the video I'm going to show you how they were all still a little too tall um, and the wind was blowing so I staked them up to keep them from falling over and also I made sure that when we brought them back inside that I put the fan on so that it helped the stem strengthen. And I have to say, they are looking awesome and I'm super, super excited. So, potting up tomatoes.
All right, I moved over here because it was getting, starting to hurt my back leaning over the table. So this table's a little bit higher. So now I've got to tag them all and I'm having trouble with the marker. So we'll see how this goes. Also going to stake some of these up just because they are a little bit on the weaker side and I want to make sure that they have, some, have a chance when I take them back inside and put them on the grow racks I will put a fan on them which will help um, strengthen the stems so this is just why we're out here and the wind is blowing to try and get them to get a little stronger. So I think that's good. I might do this one too. And maybe some over here. Maybe I'll just do them all. We'll see. But this will hopefully help strengthen the stems a little bit along with the fan when we get them inside. I will also only water them from the bottom to encourage root growth, stronger roots. That's what I meant to say. So I am going to get ready to go plant all of these daffodil bulbs. I dug up the daffodils out of the pool area yesterday and I'm going to go move them to their new location. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is not the ideal time to move the daffodils, but I don't really have any other option. We need to get the flower beds around the pool area done, and in order to do that, I had to dig all of these up. So I am going to hope for the best, put them back in the ground, and hopefully they will come up next year. If not, it will be a loss, but it's not really one that we can control right now. So let me go show you where I'm going to put these. So daffodils are a spring flower that like a pretty good amount of sun. Now where we actually had these daffodils in the beginning, they got very little sun, so they did not produce many flowers at all. So in moving them, I was looking for an area that got a lot of sun and would also not be in the way of other projects we have going on. So we are gonna plant them in our front yard along our front fence. So on the other side of this fence are all of our raised beds. So I'm going to dig a trench along here and plant all of the bulbs here. Now one of the concerns that I do have is we have lots of moles and voles. So they might end up gone, but it's kind of the only place I have for them right now. So we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to dig a trench and then probably bury them about four or five inches deep and then cover them all up. And then this place is, this location is also great because Granddad likes things that he can just run over with the lawnmower when he's cutting grass. So I'm going to plant these. I'll probably trim the leaves back a little bit, but then next year when they grow, they'll grow, they'll bloom, and then Granddad can just mow them over with the lawnmower and it won't cause too much headache when cutting the grass. So I'll do a, probably do a time lapse to show you planting them, but it should be fairly simple. So here we go. Okay, so they are all planted. It ended up being 135 daffodil bulbs. 
Some of them I had to put two in a hole, just depending on the size they were. And I'm not 100% sure all of them are to the correct depth, but time will tell and it's hopefully come table. spring, all of this will be filled with beautiful yellow daffodils. So stay tuned till next year for the end of this project. So Jamie and I are doing a little experiment here. So we are making homemade vanilla extract and we have read so many different ways on how to make this online. So we're gonna try two different ways and then we will keep you guys updated on which way worked, be worked better. So my way is to take the vanilla beans and cut them in to one inch sections and then put them in the jars. So that's what you see me doing now. So these jars are eight ounce jars, and from what we read, you need anywhere from three to seven vanilla beans for this size jar. So we did three. So I'm putting, cut the vanilla beans into one inch pieces, and then I am putting them in the jar, and then Jamie will add the vodka to them. Then you're gonna let them sit for about anywhere from like two to seven months, or maybe it's two to eight months. And you're gonna shake them occasionally. So with the one inch, it said to shake them every day. So we're gonna do that with the one inch ones. Jamie's batch is the same eight ounces of vodka and the same three vanilla beans, but instead of cutting them into one inch pieces, he cuts them down the center and then cuts them in half. And that one you shake every other day. And I have to say that I really do like the way the longer pieces look in a jar. So I think, well, it's really gonna depend on which one works better, but I think I'm really rooting for the longer pieces to work better. So here is us trying our vanilla extract experiment. And you can see here, Jamie is starting his. So he is cutting his down the middle and then he'll cut them in half and put them in the jars. So we will keep you updated on how these turn out.